Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph for today. A very nice um, front yard of a house. One of the blue houses that I like in Orangeville. It's so romantic and pretty. Hi, check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Today I'd like to share Proverbs 10, 23 and 28. It says, the fears of the wicked will be fulfilled. The hopes of the godly will be granted. The hopes of the godly result in happiness, but the expectations of the wicked come to nothing. Here's my poem. Favored by God. Do you fear the Lord and revere him constantly? Will you classify yourself as wicked or godly? The fears of the wicked will definitely transpire but believers will continually pray and aspire. God is inclined to grant requests to those who love him. He will answer the prayers of those who repent and avoid sin. The hopes of the godly end in peace and happiness, but the expectations of the wicked lead them to more mess. Here's my essay. I think it is human nature to have a leaning to someone because of their character or attitude. Most parents love all their children equally, but I think some parents have a tendency to favor one child over another because of so many reasons. One child may be more helpful and make their life easier. Therefore, it is so easy for parents to give that child favor. If they are very rebellious and difficult, it doesn't diminish your love, but they make life harder for you. So you automatically favor the one who do good, isn't it? Isn't isn't it? Isn't God the same with us, with his children? Would he be more inclined to the faithful and ignore the wishes of the wicked ones? Prayer. Lord, show me how to be more hopeful and focus on your goodness. Reflection. What can a believer gain? How can a believer gain favor with God? I think everyone knows the answer to that. First thing is to um, follow his will, um, follow his commands, um, seek him first. As the Bible says, seek him first and everything will be added unto you. Um, help others, you know, follow his commands. Um, his command says that love your, love your neighbor as you love yourself. And um, do unto others what you want others to do unto you. In other words, love yourself also, but don't forget that you have to love your neighbors as well because that's the way that you show that you love God. So that's one way that we can gain, gain favor with God. And another way we could gain favor with God is when we die to our selfish nature. Um, if we follow Him, because um, it says, um, I am the truth and the life and the truth the life and I'm the only way to salvation so if we follow him we will be saved but um, there's so many verses in the Bibles that says how God protects and love his children so if you're a believer and you have committed your life to God then you are protected you are loved you have more blessings um, because sin is the thing that blocks us from getting all the blessings that God has for <clears throat> excuse me and it blocks us from from actually fulfilling the promises that God has for us in our lives it blocks us from um, receiving all the benefits that God has given us so I invite you if you want to be favored by God do everything you can to seek him to know him to follow his uh, commands to love others. These are all the things that are important. And these are the things that bring you favor from God. Have a blessed day. And I wish that um, you will find yourself doing all the things that God wants you to do. So you can be granted all the favor that you are expecting in your life. Have a blessed day.